He's a man of history, now making history. This is incredible. Historian Lonnie Bunch set to take the top job at the world's largest museum, the Smithsonian. The first black American to hold this most senior position. How does that feel? It feels humbling. I feel not the pressure of doing the job, but the pressure of my ancestors. So I'll be ready. On Monday, Bunch <laughs> takes the lead of the 173-year-old institution, complete with 19 museums, 21 libraries, and the National Zoo. I'm stunned by how some of the maintenance people, the security guards, are suddenly stopping me and saying, if you could be secretary, I could be anything too. It's a dream come true for the New Jersey native who visited the Smithsonian as a kid in the 60s. Everything I've ever done has been touched by the Smithsonian. 11 years ago, he had a vision for a new museum and became the founder of the country's first African-American history museum. George Clinton and the Mothership. A place he calls his sanctuary. This is one of the most popular artifacts in the museum. The Chuck car? Berry's candy apple red Cadillac. Edge comb. That's we right. got a oh, really? You got it. You got now. it. Now you're got speaking it. my language. Trying to help us. In his new role, Bunch says he hopes to make the Smithsonian more accessible to everyone. Can we expect to see more in Inclusivity, perhaps an LGBTQ Smithsonian or perhaps for Asian Americans? My goal is to make sure that those stories are told that allows us all to find more about ourselves and more about the richness and the diversity of this country. How you doing? Making room for new voices at one of America's oldest you, institutions. Morgan Radford, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.